morning, good day, mother suckers. Welcome back to another video. I am back out here, San Diego Bay, Harbor Island, with Tom and Rex. They're right over there, they're already fishing. I just got here, and they're throwing the top water. Woo! Saturday morning, San Diego Bay. You cannot beat that. Again, I'm gonna show off the, the beautiful skyline that we all share here in San Diego. What am I doing today? Obviously, I'm gonna be doing some bay fishing. Gonna be fishing for mackerel, corvina, spotted bay bass, anything and everything. But there is something I want to show you guys later on in this video when we have some more sunlight. My family at home did give me an early Father's Day gift. And I'm gonna, gonna open it up in this video for you guys. I have the box right over here. I, I kind of already know what it is, but you guys can hear that? There's some metal things in there. And maybe, maybe I'm gonna be throwing that later on today if I got time to rig it up and whatnot. Huh. What to expect? Nothing to expect. We are fishing the outgoing tide. The tide peaked about five feet, maybe 10 minutes ago, and it's going down to zero. So we got a decent hour and a half, two hour swing once it's, once the water starts moving. And hopefully we catch something. Tom already got a follower on the top water, so we're gonna assume it's macro. Maybe barracuda, who knows? So we're gonna give it a shot. There's already a ton of people fishing out here. I mean, a couple people to our right and a handful to our left. We are fishing the middle of Harbor Island. If you guys are familiar with this area, the stoplight that splits uh, the east and west end is two spots up that way. And Tom Ham's Lighthouse is right behind me. Island Prime is way over there. And we're gonna give it a shot. So enough of this talking, I'm gonna slap you guys on my chest and get my lines wet and hopefully catch a monster, maybe a dink. I don't really care. Like I always mention, big or small, we're gonna try and catch them all. So you guys stay tuned and uh, Let's go. All right, gonna start off with the top water. See if we get anything. Oh, I got a follower already. He's on it. Got him. Second cast. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, now I gotta walk back up there. I'm gonna bring a little cooler down here. little freaking eight dollar cooler from Walmart call it the Mac cooler what you want to do when you start off with top water figure out your retrieve what they're gonna hit I'm already I already have a couple followers looks like they like the moderate speed oh right there got him <laughs> Here you go, pop, pop, pause. You do the trick. White. Bone. What happened? I let go a little early. Ah. Uh, I already got followers. There you go. Come on. Get it. Go get him, man. Show him who's the boss.
Yeah, they're boiling out there. Tons of boils. He's on it. He's on it. There we go. Oh, came off. They're blowing up right in front of you. Oh, got one. They're blowing up right in front of you. Hold on, buddy. I'll be all right up there. Let me get this guy off. Go ahead and uh, come down here. Oh. Go ahead and put him in. Just drop him right in. Thanks, buddy. Put the cooler right here. Time to bust out my early Father's Day gift from my beloved family at home. So, you guys are wondering what's in this box. I already opened this up at home, so I know what it is, but I want to show you guys a semi unboxing. So, let's get to it. First things first, bait. What kind of bait's in here? I got giant, giant two ounce spoons. I mean, huge candy bar spoons. I got one in the macro pattern and I got another one in just all silver a little silver flash and I got a blue macro pattern so a green mac green yellow mac looking thing silver and blue mac what am I gonna throw it with Daiwa Alexa 300 HD. This is the, I believe, 2020 model or late 2019 model. Not quite sure. But this is my first time ever using the new Lexa or actually really handling one. I mean, I held one at the shop and at the show, but I've never really actually fished one or even broke it down. But this is the reel right here. And I already got it spooled up with the Majorcraft Dangan Braid 2.5 PE line, which is equivalent to 35 pounds. That's the line I got spooled up over here. It's the multicolor one, so it will tell me how far I'm out, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. This is what I got and I use it. If it was full star truce, even better. But I don't mind the multicolor. I mean, I got multicolor braid on some of my other reels, like the top water one I was just using. And once you get familiar with your multicolor spool, you'll know how far you're out, how close the fish is, all that good jazz. Let me read you guys off what this reel is all about. So here's the box, the model. And uh, let's read it off. This is the 300 HSL. HS meaning high speed, L, left, dash, P, power handle. I don't think they make this in paddle handle. But these look way better than the old HD. Check that out. Nice gunmetal blue looking color thingamajiggy. 7.4 gear ratio. This one, if you have J braid on here. 30 pound, a hold 240 yards. That spool is about 290, 280 yards, 300 meters. So around there, and it filled it up pretty damn well. Yeah, this is a four strand braid that I'm using on here. And let's see any other information. It has, It is a 7.4 to one gear ratio. The reel alone weighs 12.3 ounces, 22 pounds of max drag, 33.7 inch per crank, six ball bearing and one roller bearing. I mean, I love my Lexus, but recently I got rid of a lot of them. So I got one left at home that I use for bait and weight because it's the Lexus CC. You guys probably seen that reel in my big fish videos where I hook up on those giant bat rays, etc. They don't make that reel no more. I wish they did because I really want to grab two or three more just to 
fish for bat rays and shark and all that good stuff out here. I mean, a reel with a clicker can't beat that. But the design of this reel looks pretty damn dope. And uh, what else did I have to get to accommodate this? You'll see. My dear friends, I got myself the Majorcraft MS1 prototype. This is a 7.6 extra heavy rod. And uh, we're going to be testing this out here today. This is, like I mentioned, this is the Majorcraft MS1 7.6 extra heavy, 1 to 3 ounce. Perfect for what I'm doing. And it's a medium fast action. So I think this will be able to chuck those spoons pretty damn far. Let's mount this bad boy up. There you go. Ooh, looks pretty damn dope. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, they're busting all over right in front of you. You better get one in that school. Oh. Oh. Damn. Well, here we go, guys. This is the Daiwa Alexa HD, the late 2019 or 2020 model. Looks really nice. I love what they did with the colors. I love what they did with the frame. It's more of a dynamic frame compared to the old ones. The old ones are pretty damn fat. But this will be my, one of my big bait combos. And obviously, I'm going to be using it for offshore, too, if we get a chance to go offshore this year. I don't know with this whole Rona shit going on, but for... Calicos, Yellowtail, Bonito. I think this would be perfect. Extra heavy, seven foot six. Prototype MS1. We are working on inshore rods, so you guys stay tuned for that. If you guys want to know more about that, feel free to comment below. But yeah, I'm gonna get this rigged up, and I'll show you guys what I'm working with. Oh damn! Got it. Enough of it. <laughs> Dude. Oh, you got that. I know you got that. I know I got that, but I got the zoom lens. Dude, that looks so cool. You better get some good pictures, Rex. Hurry up, Rex. Don't video, just take pictures. Hurry up, they're gonna be gone. You're gonna have to change your shutter speed. Roll the, the back wheel. Roll the back wheel to your right. Back wheel, where's that? The back thumb wheel. There is a whole pot of them out there. That's so cool. <laughs> That's pretty damn dope. Saw some uh, big old porpoise, a pot of them, swimming right by. It's, they're going crazy. Dude, there's like six, seven of them. You guys already know what I'm going to be using for leader. The Major Craft Dangan floor shock leader 25 pounds has they're gonna be tying directly on with this big old two ounce twister spoon maybe I get something who knows I know spoons work out here and I've seen people catch some big fish with spoons out here so I figured I'd give it a shot something different something new something new for the channel so if you guys throwing spoons before comment below let me know where to throw it what kind of combo to use how to retrieve you know, pretty much how to work a spoon. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna throw it like it's an iron. Yep. <laughs> Big old two ounce spoon. 25 pound liter, 35 pound main line. I feel like I'm going offshore right now. <laughs> I'm gonna get my GoPro back on and uh, get my ass back on the water before the fish is all gone. So you guys stay tuned and let's go. All right, big old spoon. <laughs> I gotta wet my line first. <laughs> I know, right? Just hit them all in the head. Giant spoon. Just imagine though, something just huge hits it. I did that one time, throwing the big old like freshwater swim bait for three hours straight. 
big ass Corvina. Yeah. I think I knocked the fish out. I hit the water, I saw a bait fish like flew away from it. <laughs> I was throwing 60 grand before last year out here. And we we're legitimately getting like croaker in big spotties, like way out there. He just blew up right by my bait. Clear passage, oh my god, this reel needs some oil. <laughs> oh, this thing has been sitting for a long time. All right, one more cast. My arm is becoming jello. It is. Fishing for them huskies. The freshwater barracuda. Oh yeah, that's pike. <laughs> Musky to me is like, if I was to compare it with a fish out here, would be maybe a giant Corvina. Very elusive. Yeah. I miss catching spike, uh, spike, pike. Because they follow your bait all the way to the boat. All right, time to go catch real fish. I'll be right back. <laughs> that, was, that was a lot of fun, though. I'm not going to lie. Big old spoon. I can eat a bowl of cereal with this. One scoop of cereal. I'm going to get something on it this year from shore. Definitely gonna work on it. What? <laughs> First cast with the iron. Oh, this guy's putting up a good one. What were you saying? What were you saying? Right. Where's that cooler at? Same place. Where'd you put it? Did you put it back in your car? No. Dude, you know what? The trash guy. The trash guy took it. Yeah. That's... I got a bucket though. You need a bucket? Uh, that's eight bucks I'm never getting. The trash guy took my bucket and my cooler. Here, just put them in here. No, that's fine. I'll release them. You got you got a jig par hanging from your elbow. I know. No, I'll release him. Dang, trash guy robbed me. Probably looked at it and was like, sweet. Cause I looked down, I was like, the the cooler ain't there. So maybe you put it in the um in your truck. Oh well. Sure. Yep. I got jacked! <laughs> Trash man steals fish. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Finally. It's a good one too. There we go. Finally, first spotty of the morning. Hopefully not my last, maybe. We'll see. But uh, not bad. A little foot long maybe less i don't know but put up a good one oh 
All right, all right, all right, all right, everybody. The day is ending for moi. But these guys here, they're gonna post up for a little bit. I don't know if they're leaving or not, but Tom and Rex, I'll fish you guys. Come on. A little longer. <laughs> you gonna stay oh, a little longer? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I did outfit you. Two of them. <laughs> but yeah, I'll fish them. We were having a little friendly competition. It was fun. I mean, mackerel, stingray, lizardfish, spotties. The bite was really active this morning, but then it completely declined when the current just started ripping hard. I mean, it, like the window between slack and barely starting to swing that's when they started biting those boils everywhere porpoise in the water seals and tons of bait but sure enough we hooked up and um i got my dinner stolen from me the trash guy came and thought maybe thought my cooler was trash which is like brand spanking new and we came back and it was gone so i think the guy that comes and clears out the trash cans here at harbor island took it for himself or threw it away but it's an $8 cooler. I'm not really butthurt about it, but I just hope he knows there's fish in there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Macro was the ticket today. I mean, he, you caught what? Two spotties, a stingray, and, and all the rest Mac. I caught one spotty, one lizard, a crap ton of Max. So a total of four species today, or three. Yeah, I could have had a Barracuda. I saw him come up and swipe. But yeah, I mean, it's nice out here. One week after quarantine opener, not bad at all first weekend actually after the quarantine opener and it is beautiful out it was the first sunny morning we've been out fishing in a while and it felt great i mean we saw harbor police cruise around they didn't say anything to us people are keeping their distance people are practicing the the social distancing thingy majiggy and uh yeah i mean kudos to everyone that is being responsible out here shout out to you guys y'all the mvps but also want to bring up the rod and reel that i showed you guys the daiwa lexa 300 hd with the ms1 prototype rod unfortunately i didn't catch anything on it but it was fun throwing it until like my arm gave out it felt like jello after like 50 casts that thing is heavy as hell but my goal this year this summer is to get something on a giant spoon out here in the bay i don't know you guys ever caught anything on a big spoon out here in the bay comment below let me know because i've seen guys throwing one ounce and three quarter ounce uh, spoons and catching monster spotties out here. By monsters, I mean like 12 inches. I'm just kidding. But I've seen people catch big spotties using big spoons out here. Some crocodiles, some candy bars, etc. But I'm gonna give that a shot. So if you guys got any tips, let me know in the comments below. And I'm gonna enjoy this combo. I'm also gonna use that combo to throw swim baits for calicos maybe some irons for yellowtail bonito if i get a chance to get out there i'm also going to use it for big old glide baits and swim baits for the bay to catch some corvina maybe some halibut i don't know maybe i'll dedicate a day throwing that thing but i definitely got to rest my shoulder after that because that thing was tiring but i'm going to sum it up right there guys i want to thank you all for tuning in everything i use in this video will be in the description below be sure to check that out and uh shoot Nothing else really left to say. But shout out to these guys for coming out. Yeah. And yeah. as always, guys, good fishing and peace the hell out.